Hello there and a very good evening. Bangladeshi twins who were joined at the head were recovering yesterday after a 30-hour operation marathon to separate their skulls and brains, which has brought relief to their parents. The three-year-old twins, named Rabia and Rukaya, suffered from a rare embryological disorder affecting an estimated one in every five to six million births. After the separation at Dhaka's combined military hospital and our showcase team, neurosurgeons of the Action for Defenseless People Foundation began to cover the wound area with soft tissues generated by a tissue expansion process carried out in Hungary. The Hungarian charity was set up in 2002 by Soke and plastic surgeon Gergely Pataki to provide free surgery to poor people in Hungary and abroad. Hundreds of people were evacuated from a town in central England as a British military helicopter was called yesterday to prevent a reservoir dam from collapsing. The Todd Brook Reservoir Dam was feared to be on the verge of caving in following heavy rain, threatening the lives and homes of residents in Whaley Bridge. According to Julie Sharman, Chief Operating Officer of the Canal and River Trust, which runs the reservoir, the water levels had reduced by around 20 cm overnight, which she deemed as a critical situation at the time. A Royal Air Force helicopter lowered bags of aggregate into the damaged part of the dam wall, while 150 firefighters pumped water out of the reservoir. Several Malaysian journalists who were currently on a media trip in Jakarta had a bit of a panic attack as tremors were felt following a strong quake that hit Indonesia's Banten province in Java. The journalists were at a media briefing given by Indonesia's ambassador to Malaysia, Rusdi Kirana Banten, at the eighth floor of Menara Lion when the magnitude 7.4 earthquake rocked Banten at around 7 p.m. yesterday. All of the journalists took the staircase all the way down from the eighth floor to exit the building, getting to breathe a sigh of relief for nothing untoward happened at the time. The Malaysian Meteorological Department said there was no tsunami threat to Malaysia. And that ends the English news for today. I'm Shira Abang Manso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.